Today we're going to show you how we tie up our Brad's Kokanee cut plugs. Last year Brad sent us these cut plugs to try out here in Canada and they worked amazing. I've got some of my favorites here that we used last year. They sent us a whole lineup uh, from 2018 and uh, there are some new plugs on the market for 2019 so check them out, check the website out and I will show you how to tie up one of these. There are different ways to tie these up. If you turn them over, you look on the back side here, there's two holes up front that they have made for you to change the roll, change the, the way this thing maneuvers in the water. They've got a hole here to put your line through. There's another one at the back. You can rig these up however you choose. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there on how to do this. A lot of guys south of the border in Canada here have been fishing these and been very successful for kokanee. So I won't get too in depth on that. There is a rubber band on the back here. You can open these things up here and you've got a little scent pad in here. Some of the guys are stuffing them with corn for scent if you've got scented corn. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what I would be doing with these. I haven't. I've just put scent on this pad. This one here was my favorite last year and my second favorite was this one. I've caught lots of kokanee on this. They absolutely slam this one. They really like this. So without further ado, we'll put the rubber band back on this one and I will show you how I was rigging up. Okay, so the Brad's Kokanee Cup Plug. Showing you how to tie it here. Lots of great ways to show you how to tie it on the internet. So Google that, uh, look it up on YouTube. This is how I tied mine last year and did really well on this one. You read a lot and watch a lot on YouTube about uh, contrasted beads, different colored beads. A lot of guys use, like to use one bead of one color, one bead of another and alternate those. So I tried that this past summer and it worked really well. So I used six beads here. I chose the red, orange bead and chartreuse because those are two of my favorite beads. They're not glow beads, they're just regular salmon beads and they did just, just fine. My thought process on this was I'm going to have some corn on the back end. This is going to be attracting the kokanee in. They're going to zone in on the corn. They're not going to be too worried about the beads. But if you're going deeper, like we don't go too deep where we were fishing these 30 feet, so it doesn't really matter. But if you're going deeper than 30 feet, you might want to switch over to some glow beads. That might help you out a little bit better. So we got our six beads on here, and it's just like we would a hoochie. We want to line these beads up. They're going to be uh, stopped in this stopper in the middle of the Brad's Kokanee cup plug. So we want to line them up and have them just so the hooks are out the back end. They will have corn on it. When this is on there, this will actually rotate on the line and this will attract the fish and they will come in. So. Like I said earlier, there's different ways to put this on. There's one spot right here, there's another spot, and there's two holes here to adjust your roll. And I will put this through the center hole. And I think I was going to the outside hole last summer and bring it out the top, just like a plug. And so we'll slide it down to the bottom. You can see here that it hits this stopper here, and that's kind of where it stops. That's It can't go no more. So this here is lined up pretty good. I could probably even take one bead out of there. And as this is going in the water, as I'm trolling, this, this is actually gonna spin on here. You can take a look at YouTube, lots of great videos on how this spins. And try this out. This worked really well. Hopefully you can try some of these Brad's Kokanee Cut Plugs here this year. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our video, share, like, comment, tell us what you wanna see next. And we will do our best to get it to you. Thank you and see you later.